praise the Lord. Um, I just feel impressed to share this brief word with you. I was on our teleconference prayer meeting um, tonight, Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. And in the course of prayer, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to my heart and I shared it with um, our group on the teleconference prayer line. And I also like to share it with you, what the Lord puts in my heart. And we were looking at Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, which is popular scripture more or less. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. And we were just laboring before the Lord in a prayer of repentance we're just laboring before the lord because we understand that there are certain conditions there are four conditions in second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 that we must meet as believers before we can enjoy the three blessings of god in second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 and quickly the four conditions we have to meet in second chronicles 7 verse 14 is one we must humble ourselves and why we forgot to humble you anyway we are called to humble ourselves so the first thing we must do is humble ourselves the second thing we must do is pray the third thing is to seek god's face and fourthly we must turn from our wicked ways repentance and many times believers want to pray without repentance and the spirit of god was just talking it in my heart that we need to call out to God more for repentance, to cry out in repentance for the sins of this nation, for the sins of America, for the sins of mankind. He called us to stand in the gap. And as we were praying and doing that, we believe the scriptures as it is written. And God says, if we do that, then he will do three things. He will do three things. The first thing he will do is he will hear from heaven. That in itself is a blessing that he hears because there are some prayers he doesn't even hear. So he says he will hear from heaven, one, two, forgive our sins, and three, heal the land. And with the outbreak of COVID-19, um, the coronavirus, novel coronavirus pandemic, the whole world is perplexed. The whole world. Is perplexed and the church of God, God has gotten our attention like never before. And now the saints are calling upon the name of God and asking for mercy, for healing. And it was in the course of our prayers in this fashion that the Spirit of God spoke to me and that's what I want to share. It was a brief word. And the Lord said, He knows how to get our attention. That America for a long time he has been trying to get our attention, but we are not just listening. And he knew we would get to a place, to a point, where we would have to seek his face because we would not be able to move forward without him. So he says he is a God that knows how to get our attention. And then he spoke to me. He says his house must be very careful not to glorify the Hollywood spirits. He says there is a Hollywood spirit, a spirit of entertainment, a worldly spirit, a carnal spirit that has been brought into his house and that he is grieved by this because this spirit is a profiteering spirit that comes to hijack the work of the Holy Spirit. And he says we've allowed the spirit of Hollywood enter into many of his houses in the land and that in this season he has arisen he has come to cleanse his house and to strip his people and to purge his people from every excess weight that they have carried he has come to strip his church and separate his church from that hollywood spirit God says there is a place we are advancing to this year and he has come to strip us of the excess baggage because we cannot take that on the journey with him. He is not willing to travel with us on that journey to our advancement if we are carrying idols that that Hollywood spirit brings into his house. 
And so the Spirit of God is impressing upon me as I share with you that in this season, the body of Christ must humble itself, pray, seek His face. Seek His face from a position of repentance like never before. Because his, the sins, the sins of the nation have gone up before Him. Millions of abortions gone up before Him. Marriage abominations gone up before Him. Man has passed legislation that violate the law of God. And we think God will clap for us. No, he will not. Righteousness exalts a nation and sin is the reproach of a people. God bless you. I hope this word provokes you to change, to repent and to seek God's face. Even as it has provoked me to change and to repent. Let us not carry iniquity in our hearts. This is Idemudia Gobadia. I'm an apostle, overcomers in Christ group of churches. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Overcomers Deliverance Network, and Overcomers Deliverance Network Channel 2. And also subscribe to my personal YouTube channel, One on One with Apostle ID. God bless you. I'll see you later.